I hear it. Do you hear it? I hear it. We are officially done. It's been an awesome day. Jack, you have done a phenomenal job, buddy. Look out, Team Aquascape. Jack's gonna be taking over. Hopefully, but no, the, the team did an incredible job. They really helped me a lot with everything. So with every great job, you couldn't get it done for the caliper of Team Aquascape without a Team Aquascape team. So let's walk through this project. Let's show the viewers how awesome this thing turned out. What's going on, Team Aquascape, DK, and Jack, the man, the myth, the legend, the kid, coming at you. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Don't know what day this comes out in Vlogland, but it was our uh, weekend. Today's Monday. This stream is looking really, really awesome. Super excited to see this thing come together. Hopefully, we'll have it up and running tomorrow. But that being said, let's get Jack's take on it. Jack, what do you think, buddy? Considering we started at, what, 1 o'clock today? We didn't. And I, it's 4.30? Yeah, I think we did pretty good today. As you can see, if you come follow me over here got the weiss over here doing a little detail work over here on one of the falls so when we got here this afternoon we had this waterfall roughed in and that was it and as you can see we have this waterfall is all combed in pretty much from here back is all done with the exception of right there where it's going to take all of 10 minutes to finish that tomorrow check out these edge details the guys absolutely slayed it Corey, luis you guys are kicking butt taking names everything is looking awesome Doing a fine, fine job. Got some nice cobble wash over there. Corey did an awesome job on this detail. Luis foamed up the waterfall for Jack. Corey did some awesome cobble wash over there. We got a light in over here. We're gonna add some more tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so we had to pull back all this line and we had a backfill behind underneath these two frame rocks just so we have to use as much foam. So we pretty much cranked through this today. We we're able to set all this. We have bridge halfway done. Tomorrow we're gonna set that other bridge piece leading on leading to this other piece. And then we're gonna So how's the bridge detail gonna work, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, so at the beginning we really weren't sure as you could say earlier in the video i was saying about we, we weren't sure if we were going to do steppers or if we we're going to do a bridge and we're kind of doing like a hybrid of them two we're kind of doing where we're going to have one flat outcropping stone come out and actually hang over the water so the water is going to go under the rock so the cantilever over yep cantilever over nice and then it's going to do the same thing on this side so instead of doing instead of like what we did in, in there where it was where those rocks went all the way down to the bottom the water went between them the water is actually going to go under them and you're going to see the crack we're gonna probably leave like a two inch gap between both pieces so it's gonna look like it's eroded out exactly. versus bedrock yeah we'll set one of these tomorrow and then probably a handful of rocks to set tomorrow and then we'll be done with setting the bigger chunks of the of the rock and then it's all filling in between the gaps and then finish up the waterfall right behind you right yeah so it's that's what i'm looking forward to is when we, where we kind of get up to that upper uh pooling area right where that over the pond's at and to where both features look like they're conjoined when they're two different features awesome so jack i think it's been really cool to watch you kind of come into your own i know you were nervous starting out this job but the pond looks phenomenal Phenomenal. Brian and Chris are ecstatic about it. Mindy, the homeowner, is loving it. I think she got to enjoy it here over the weekend. I think she's super excited about the stream coming together. But what's your thoughts so far? What's your takeaway? Where's your mindset at going through this so far? Has it been a cool experience, a nerve wracking experience? It's definitely been a cool experience. Like. I, I mean, fortunately, I've been with being with Aquascape for the past three years. I've seen a lot of cool projects and stuff, but I think this one's probably going to be one of my favorite ones, just because I was able to be like, it's a, it was a lot of first for me. It was a big leap mm -hmm. of faith that Chris and Brian allowed me to take with leading the pond build and kind of even though they've been here it's kind of been okay what do you what do you want to do jack like you run with it so it's definitely going to be going in my books as one of my favorite builds just being able to kind of be like a lead role for once seeing chris and brian is kind of cool finally taking up or following in their footsteps but yeah at the beginning i was kind of nervous when they told me that i was going to be in charge of this one too just because of the grand scale of it like usually a pond of that size is kind of like intimidating for a lot of people and it was for me but i kind of i was fine with it but definitely taking on this big of a project i mean it's a 70 foot stream like it's with a bunch of big stone that I haven't really worked with or I'm not familiar with before. So it was definitely kind of a nerve wracking experience the first two days. But then after I kind of got ball rolling, it was kind of easier to kind of be all right, like just, just be creative with it. If you if you want to dive bomb, let them dive bomb into the water. Like they don't have to be completely level. They don't, it's kind of just a free for all almost. Yeah, I think we've definitely uh, kind of pulled out the stops on this one, gotten super creative. So we're not handcuffed to that creativity like Brian's always talking about. And I think this one's really going to turn out really, really sweet. It's been a joy to watch and be a part of definitely be sentimental for you as well yeah 
like you said, being in that lead role. So again, let us know in the comments down below what you guys think so far. Let us know how Jack's doing. Any pointers, questions? I know he's excited to keep filling this role. He's doing a great job. Looking forward to seeing Corey on the upcoming project on how he does. I know I've gotten quite a few chances to run some work and it's been a lot of fun. So that being said, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Like. Fingers crossed for 25 seconds in vlog land. Yeah, you guys get to see in the next five minutes. I have to wait. Jack's not going to sleep all night waiting for this <laughs> one to come alive tomorrow. He's going to be like a kid in Candyland, I think. But, I can't uh, wait. You guys get to see his reaction. So stay tuned. See ya. is coming in it means we're just about done now the project took a little bit longer than we anticipated but for the guys basically running this thing all by themselves i can't be more happy it looks incredible if it looks good dry like the pond guy says it's got to look good wet so let me get some of those photos for you while we finish cleaning up and then we'll show you this thing running here in just a few minutes so here's our reservoir it's obviously full this is supposed to be down about six inches but that'll be a cool little waterfall that's that rock with water should come this way and this way. officially done it's been an awesome day long day uh, long day we're the last two here everybody else they uh skipped town early on us we'll bring this one home for you the other guys deserve an early day yeah so let's walk through this jack you have done a phenomenal job buddy thanks sounds to you hey i mean kudos to the team like they really helped me on this one especially chris and brian for allowing me to like i said like six other times in the series you better just get them like a case of beer yeah i know something the rest of us still are owed ice cream though just say no but it really means a lot to me to for them to really allow me to take charge on such a like a big project for me i mean obviously it's not one of our bigger projects but still it's, it's a decent sized project for for someone just starting out to uh, taking up like a leadership position look out team aquascape jack's gonna be taking over hopefully but no the, the team did an incredible job they really helped me a lot with everything with just being efficient at if two people were working on setting rocks the rest of the team was right behind us taking care of edges bringing us what we needed 
Honestly, you couldn't keep up setting rock yeah, fast enough. I mean, the edges were right there. They, they were ready. They were on our butts. It was pretty incredible to see them. Just we don't have to say a lot, a lot to, uh, for the team. So with every great job, you couldn't get it done for the caliper of Team Aquascape without a Team Aquascape team. And I gotta say, just like Jack did, our team is one of a kind. I think any of the CACs out there would kill to have one guy off of our team, let alone our entire team. So the team really did pull this one off. But we had great leadership from Jack, and uh, I'm really proud of him. He's done a great job. So let's walk through this project. Let's show the viewers how awesome this thing turned out. On this project, we have one four to seven powering this stream. And so if you come down here, follow these steps that we have. Check out the Aquascape pathway lights. So right here is our pondless vault, and right in this area is our basin. It's roughly 12 aqua blocks. All the water is gonna be in the stream is stored underneath these rocks in here, underneath all this gravel, all the water is stored. So the four to seven sits in here and it gets pumped up through a three inch pipe that we have that goes pretty much hugs the side of this stream all the way up to that top sheet style waterfall all the way up at the top. We ended up putting a 22 inch spillway in up yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, so we have a 22 inch pondless spillway up there and all it does is dump into a shallow pool and then goes over that spill stone creating our first waterfall. But How yeah, was it to work with this awesome stone? I mean, obviously every project we do, the stone selection, the rock, selection is the key piece to the whole art but Pennsylvania fieldstone is not something we normally work with on every job we, we, we do, do use it throughout the season we typically only do two to three projects a year just like aqua blues it's a pretty rare stone for us to use during the season usually I mean our go-to's are moss rock weather limestone and granite obviously so it's nice to work with this stuff like it, it builds killer streams when you have like super low elevations you're able to pull off a lot of waterfalls inside of it and a lot of movement as you can see in the stream I mean, when you look at this thing, when you talk elevation, realistically, from where we're sitting down here at the basin, the reservoir, up to where the falls are, this is probably a 50, 60 foot stream altogether, maybe 70 with the cook, the bins and the crooks in it and whatnot. But like you said, it's really, from the top of the spillway down here, it's max two feet. Yeah. But realistically, the yard grade is probably less than eight inches. So, I mean, what we were able to pull off here was pretty phenomenal. Like Mindy, the homeowner, she's ecstatic. And she feels like we really knocked it out of the park on the fact that it looks like this thing has been here for 50 years. Yeah, even before we had it running, Mindy was always saying, uh, Mindy, the homeowner, she was saying about how natural it looks like when we had the pond up and running we we had the pond done last week so she was able to actually hear running water for the last week since we've been here working on her stream and she like every comment has been wow i can't believe it. it's so natural it's so natural it's like it's always been here and i mean for a pond well, that's what you're looking for this is two separate features but we made it look like it's one complete and feature the reason why we made it two features was because one system would probably be top heavy than the other considering they're going in opposite directions so you'd have to make two basins pretty decent sized to accommodate all the water that'd be flowing in the stream. And it allows her, if she doesn't want to run one feature, she could turn one off and keep the other one running. I know we were talking earlier, and it sounds like she's gonna be running the pond all year long. while well, she's gonna be unfortunately turning this pondless waterfall off during the winter time, which, which is fine, because it's not like she's gonna be out here in the winter time when it's 30 below here in the Chicago land. Speaking of it, I mean, this little like structure gazebo here behind us, how cool is that? Like, like, where we've been let's actually go back and give the viewers kind of a, just a little bit of a view from the seat where she's gonna be sitting out here enjoying this awesome stream. I mean, guys, just check that out. Isn't that, it's phenomenal. Each seat, you've got different viewpoints, different perspectives. I think anybody would pretty much give anything for uh, a feature like this. Well, Jack, so we've got three stepping stone areas, one being the bridge area. So let's show the viewers where that is real quick. Walk them up through the feature. Let's talk about some different uh, aspects of it. So you've got that area we just came out of. You've got the bridge area where Jack's going, where we cantilevered over the bridge. So the water flows underneath. It kind of chokes it down, kicks it out. Really cool feature. What's your take, Jack? I love it. I'm glad we've decided to go with the stepping stones. Like, obviously, like for me personally, I like stepping stones. It looks way more natural than a bridge. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like the bridges and they have their applications, but having stepping stones and a water feature like this, it just makes it 10 times more natural. Having water run through here, just, it tops the cake. <laughs>
It's the cherry on top for sure. So we've got this area, we got the area we just came from. Over here behind these two rocks is another area because Mindy actually has this beautiful peach tree over here. So she's able to go across and harvest those throughout the season when they're ripe and ready. And it also gives her a possible area over there to add another bench seating area. She's gonna stick one back over here behind the birch tree where we did some pathway lighting. So I mean, she's gonna have some great vantage points throughout this entire feature. The cool thing is we've got areas in this stream jack where it speeds up it twists it turns it chokes down it slows down the sound quality is phenomenal so right now we have as you can see there's really not that many plants there's plants in the stream but not outside the stream Mindy's actually gonna take care of that entire aspect of the feature I'm looking forward to seeing it all planted up but as you can see we have these big plant pockets where we added mulch but where you can see dirt right now it's we're gonna pull grass all the way up to the edge of these stepping we call these outcropping stones it's gonna invite whoever comes over to come out onto these steps and take full advantage of the stream definitely pulls you right in for sure yeah so Jack obviously you were a little nervous taking this project on I think you were kind of blown away that Chris and Brian were gonna put this one in your hands what's your takeaway I think you've had had a phenomenal experience. Where's your mind at? Definitely have learned a lot on this project. I definitely would not be unable to have done it with Dan, Corey, and Luis. They really helped out a lot, just stepping up and always being like, just always being there for me. It was definitely a big undertaking to take over such a project. I thought coming into this, I was I was under the impression I was only gonna be doing the pond, which is manageable for me. Like, yeah, I was nervous, but it's manageable. I was fine with that. I've worked with Mollus Rock, I've worked with Grant, and I was completely fine with it. This is my first time working with Pennsylvania Fieldstone. It's one of my favorite rocks, as I said earlier in the video because you can make some killer waterfalls and you can make some killer movement in the stream but it, it, I'm blown away on how it turned out. It looks really good. I'm really looking forward to how Mindy is going to plant everything up and yeah it's, it turned out great. Awesome. Well like I said it's been a fun experience. Jack has done himself very well on this one. Mindy is super excited about it. The team is super excited about it. We're ready to wrap our day. It's been a long day. Make sure you guys keep subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Come on back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday on the Team Aquascape page. Check in with what we're doing. We're always doing some phenomenal projects. I've always got them in the queue so make sure you're coming back. I love us know how Jack did in yeah, the comments. Yeah, I, I would love to hear. I, I'm always <laughs> Good, bad, or ugly. Advice. But all for you young guns out there, I want to throw it out to you that I'm really proud of this guy. He's 20 years old. He's really taken a hold of this, taken charge, and I just want to inspire some of you young guys out there and women to, you know, jump into this trade. It's, it's an awesome, awesome experience and opportunity, and, you know, follow your dreams. Do not be afraid to be told no. There is always a way to open a door, so I wouldn't be here had I not reached out to Brian, and the ride for the last year has been absolutely Absolutely phenomenal so we're excited with that being said we're gonna head out so see ya